Hi, I'm Matt DiDonato. I'm the team leader for WPI's Atlas robot team. Um, today we're going to show you a little bit about how Atlas's vision system works. Hi, I am Benson. Um, I'm the lead vision expert. I work with Matt and for Atlas to be able to interact with the objects in the world, it, he has to detect the objects and be able to see them using his cameras. And I'm going to show you the algorithms that we use for detecting the objects and helping him to interact with the world. So this is the image that Atlas sees of the environment around him. So we begin by uh, seeding it by using some sort of a scribble. So the yellow marks are the locations that I'm interested in. And once the scribble is generated, it basically goes into an image processing algorithm, which basically converts the uh, color image to LAB color space. LAB color space is much more, uh, it allows us to differentiate objects in, uh, from different colors. Once it's converted into the LAB color space, we look for the points which we used for scribbling, and we convert th th those points also to LAB color space and see all the points in the image which are close to that. And uh, we create something like a heat map where uh, uh, black means it is no way close in terms of uh, color close to the object of interest and uh, gray means it might be and white means it's most probably the object of interest that we are interested in. Uh, once we find that uh, this we segment that area alone and we do an operation called dilation. What dilation does is it takes the areas that we have segmented and slightly blows them and once we do the dilation we extract the edge image of it, the edges of the object of interest. To find the edges, what we do is we go through the entire image and try to do something like a differentiation where we look for what is the difference between the current pixel and the next pixel. And if, if the difference is huge, we would mark them as an edge image. Uh, once the edge images are generated, we basically uh, use the points where we scribbled uh, as an indication of the set of edge images, the edge points that we are interested in. And once we figure out the set of edge points, we basically uh, try to uh, segment that area and create a rectangle of interest. So once a, re a rectangle that which basically specifies the object that we are interested in is generated, we mark it in the, uh, the world image. Once we uh, extracted the object in the image, then we convert it into, we find out where it is located in the 3D space. And uh, we give that information to the robot and robot grabs the object of interest. Uh, you can use a similar approach to detect objects, locate where your uh, robot is in your field and throw go uh, throw balls and maybe throw game uh, game elements so image processing is a simple and useful tool that you guys can use it and it will definitely help you to do better in the competition